Welcome back to today's video. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, is going to be the reading vlog for the Hunger Games. So let's go ahead and get started. Now here's what this. We all have heard the Hunger Games. We've all known that it is a book. We know it's a movie. And we know that there's fun pops to go along with it, which I actually had the Katniss one. And there is a Funko Pop I really want. It's the um, Katniss Funko Pop where she's um, like the girl on fire because her dress. And I'm actually, I've gone to that part where the dress is, where her dress is on fire. So, yes. So, here's something is this. I hope that if you have not read The Hunger Games, now, here's music. If you have not read The Younger Games, maybe you can read along with me. Or if you have, then maybe you can go, ooh, I can't wait till she gets to this particular part because this part is my favorite part. My favorite part of the book. My favorite part of the movies. You know, or basically that, oh, or I can't wait to watch the movies. Which, by the way, I, it's actually quite funny. My dad has said that I cannot watch The Younger Games movies until I've seen, until I've read the books. So. But because I am reading the books, I will be reading them soon and maybe at the end of this video. I don't know. Maybe you'll see my thoughts and get my thoughts on the movies. But yes. So I'm really excited. I really hope that I can do that in today's video. So let's go ahead and get started on reading for today. Okay, so what I just read was very, um, um, I don't know, but it was very interesting what Katniss just did. Like, come on. Oh boy. That was actually very interesting. Wow. That was very, very interesting what I just read. Alrighty, so you guys, it is actually, um, you know, the next day, and I was reading The Hunger Games, and, oops, I got to page, so right now I'm on page 133, and I'm on part two of The Hunger Games. So basically what happened, and I think is really cool, is that basically they're training, they did the interviews. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to give you another update on where I am in the book. So, I am on page 152, chapter 11. And let me tell you, the games are beginning, and it is starting to be very, kind of, kind of, um, I don't know, just the games are beginning, and it's starting to begin to become very more a couple people have already, is already dead at this point Katniss was very close to being killed and she isn't okay you guys so it is actually been a while since I'm giving you guys an update and let's tell you guys where I'm at in the book so I am on page 185 chapter 14 and here is something what's happening we are literally starting the games we're like on day I want to say five or six, maybe even four. I'm not 100% sure. But I do know that we are actually in the games. And basically, already from like the first day, 11 people are dead, 13 more to go. And basically what they do is um, on the first day, there's a cannon that goes off. Um, and what they do is... The, like you know like the cannon goes off and basically that they do it has many tributes go like are dead the first day and then they basically kind of show pictures of them in the arena and then when then when the games go on like the next days every time someone's dead they will put a cannon on and show their faces at the end of the day so that's actually very interesting okay guys so i just finished the hunger games the first book in the series so now we're gonna read the i think catching fire yep catching fire bit um let me explain to you 
kind of my thoughts on it. It is a very, I definitely say it is a good book. It is definitely a very kind of packed full, suspenseful, not knowing what's going to happen kind of book. And what kind of at the end, I think what at the end kind of for me, it was like, sh like shocking because they said that there was going to be two winners, but then they said that they w one had to kill each other and then it came back to two winners. So there is two people who won and that is PETA and Katniss. And I mean, yeah. And it was also funny because I'm so confused if Katniss was just putting it on as an act or she actually does kind of like PETA because PETA truly does love Katniss no matter like PETA will like like Katniss and you know that it's does Katniss like PETA like is was she just like putting it on as an act is she does she actually really like PETA like I've always that part is kind of confusing to me but that is just like a confusing part but I've always been that just a part that I'm very confused on but here's something that's at least six years 12 after 30 years I think of not getting someone who won the Hunger Games they have a um Victor I think that's what it's called or Victoria I don't know but they actually so now it is actually Katniss and Peta have won the Hunger Games so so excited I think what I would do is I would read this book I'll do four out of five because it was a good book it just I don't know I'll just say four out of five so four out of five and also guys actually that's what you are on but let me put you here and let me grab this and what is a oh, here's a hot okay you guys, I also do actually have like a reading journal. It's not as fancy and it's just like a simple Winnie the Pooh though. It's not as fancy, but like this is how it is. So let me show you. So these are the ones, books I've read all for 2022. And then here is basically January and this is how many, so this is like was my January TBR and this one is my January read. So this is going to be my very first book to add in January so let's go ahead and add the book and so what I do is basically I add the book add the author and then I add basically how many stars I say so I'd say like five four out of five stars So as you guys saw, we, um, or I started the Catching a Fire. I read chapter one of the book and I am right now on page 18, chapter two. Um, so basically, um, with chapter one, you basically kind of get her life now as what it was before she went to the game so basically you get to see her life you get to see kind of hear her life and hear that like gail has to now work in the mines and what i thought was actually funny so gail's last name is hawthorne and i thought it was funny because if you don't know the the inheritance games that's their family's name is Haw the hawthorne's family so i just thought that was kind of funny but anyhow when you kind of find different like names that went to a different book that I just I always think it's funny or like a different show that you love I always just kind of get excited with that but yes but like I said basically Gail is working the mines and she's only allowed 
basically only able to see him on Sundays. So that's kind of sad. As well as her and PETA are going to go on to a district tour because that's what they do when a person from the Hunger Games wins. So they're basically going on a tour um, and things like that. And I think basically she's basically also getting her protocol. She also lives in the Victor's um, village with her uh, mom and her sister Prim. So she lives in the Victor's village now and has her house and it's nice. So basically the part where I'm at now is when she is going to meet and President Snow is going to talk to her. Okay you guys, so I actually just finished with section one and now I'm going to be on, I mean, well, part one. Now I'm going to be on part two. Um, that's chapter 10. I believe the page is 139. Yep, 139. And so I can't actually remember the last time I actually informed you guys on, but, um, let's just say that they went on to the Victor's tour. A lot have happened. New peacekeepers, just pretty much new people like being in this like area living and uh, kind of in Panama. So that's very fun and interesting. Okay, you guys, so I'm on page 174, and basically we, this is chapter 13, and basically we get to, like, the point of, like, the third, um, quarter quill, and basically the fact that every victor, a uh, female or a male, has to basically, uh, basically go into the arena again. Okay, guys, so we just hit, oh, um, page 204, chapter 15, and what I think is really fun is that you actually get to see Hamich's, like, actual Hunger Games and how he won, and how basically he kind of outsmarted the capital, kind of not really I don't, I don't know how to explain it but basically pretty much like he used the force field to kill a girl so um and you'll I think see that and I think that's just interesting and hearing about actually like um Katniss's mom's friend who was actually in the games and sadly did not make it so or so yeah that's kind of well of course they did not make it because he much won but you know what I mean, but just sad. So, yes. Okay, so I am entering the Hunger Gate. I'm entering the Quarter Quill. Um, and I'm actually on part, oops, part three. And part three is, oh, ah, I put the shirt on back. Oopsies, anyway. Part three is the enemy. So, let's just say that, um, Katniss trained she did her session and did something like here's a business she will always do something that is very drastic um so yes and then her basically she gets her score um and then they basically have the interviews um and she has her dress and it's really cool so yes okay hello so we are pretty much this much is left which isn't that that much that many so i feel like i can finish today we're on page 311 um which basically means that we're less than um i was about to say less than halfway through of course we're less than halfway through but um we are less than 100 pages to we have less than 100 pages to go so like i said i do feel like i can finish this book today and basically what happened is there is a deadly fog pita almost died and then there's monkeys and that's pretty much like oh my gosh like you know they don't really see that so that was very interesting so yes so i'm going to continue to read okay hello you guys so i just finished catching fire the second book in the hunger games trilogy so um pretty much oh the games has happened and there's no more district 12 and basically everyone is keeping secrets from katniss and Peeta and blah 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 um so there what I think was actually very funny because one of the people is like named BT. 
Um, so, and then it would be like, so there, and there would always, like, then when there's PETA, and then there would be like PETA after it, so I would say PT. <laughs> so like, BD, PT, yeah. No, I literally confuse PETA and BT, like, names. I would say, like, it wrong, so... Yes, but that's that. So let's say my rating for this. This is Mrs. It is a good book, but it does go a little. Okay, you don't really get. You get the games, but you don't get as much as you do in the first book. And it's basically kind of like the first particular part of it is you are like the first part is when you kind of are still kind of getting introduced to it, and then you have the quarter quill. And then, like, then they spend a lot of time in training, and then, the, then you have the games. So I feel like it was more like, I don't feel like they were in the games as much as they were in the first book. And I don't think that, and I think that there was just a lot of, not like world building, but like, more kind of basically training and you do actually get a couple of different scenes in this book than you do in the movie which is really cool and you actually get to see Hamish's um hunger games and basically how he won and how he basically tricked the government so i would give that a book 4.5 stars so let us go ahead and write it down to this so it's february show you my so that's that that so basically i do a reading journal and i'm going to show you how i do it so basically i have it as this is my the month that is and then like the tbr so then these are all the books i'm planning to read this month and then these are basically all the books i read and so yes so i'm gonna go ahead and fill it out to okay guys so i just told you that i started the mockingjay i am on page 16 chapter 2 and what i try to do is i like give like basically say if i like the first chapter and it is really good so pretty much katniss goes back to district 12 sorry because it actually did get destroyed while she was in the games and so Get destroyed. She went there, and now we're basically going to see District Thirteen. So, yep. So yeah. Okay, guys. So I want to do basically kind of telling you what has happened in the Hunger Games. I am right. So I am right now on page one hundred and. Four, and I'm gonna try like maybe every 50 pages kind of update you guys or like every five chapters or whatever but pretty much Katniss has actually I actually can't remember the last thing I actually updated you on I think that was actually the first chapter so go on to this they're basically at district 13 and district 13 pretty much acts like the capital and i think it's, that's very interesting like they act like the capital um so there and then katniss basically says that she's going to be the mockingjay for them um so there and then she has like all these lovely requests and one of the requests and i love the last one is i kill snow so she's gonna go and kill snow but, as well as, she's gonna, you know, kill the snow, um, there, and then basically she goes into a meeting, she goes to District 8, and pretty much sees people in the hospital, and then there's a bombing, and then all those people in the hospital literally die, and then she goes back to District, um, 13. So that is what I'm reading right now, so, yes. Guys, so, I literally just finished chapter nine i am on page 134 well actually i just finished 134 i'm actually on page 137 chapter 10. um so i'm gonna go to part two which is the assault um but let me tell you what happened PETA basically makes a promo um, about Katniss and then Katniss and Gail go back to District 12 and then basically they're trying to hack into the Capitol's like things so that they can pretty much like say what they're doing and pretty much like show like 
this, this stuff and they actually successfully do it and when Peter sees Katniss he is very like shocked and Peter is right now just being attacked so I'm gonna be on part two the assault and this isn't really so I'm, doing, so. I'm excited to keep reading Okay, you guys, so I am on page 218, chapter 16, and a lot has happened. So, first things first, let's start off with that basically District 13 was bombed, but none of the people, like, actually died. So then, um, we go to the capital where PETA, Joanna, and pretty much everyone who was captured at the, um capital was saved um so they were saved and after they were saved PETA actually has pretty much wants to kill Katniss because the capital did kind of like a hijack on them meaning that they made in his mind that she's bad that she did all these bad things so there so they're trying to cure PETA and then Katniss goes to district two and to convince them so he goes just to lives and then tries to convince them to basically help them destroy the capital so that is where I am in the mocking jay okay guys so we are okay so we are on page 277 um chapter 20 um and that's basically on in part two so we're in part two which is called if i can get to it part i mean part three and it's called assassin so pretty much they are right now trying to go and fight um uh to basically the ca trying to fight the capital and PETA is playing a game basically saying is it real or not real so he's basically saying different scenarios um, and saying if they're real or not real so I'm about a quarter way through let's see I'm gonna try to finish it today so hello I just finished the Mocking Jay, which is the last book in the Hunger Games trilogy even though there is a prequel the Ballad of the Songbirds which that is the Snakes and Songbird, which is pretty much like a, um, is a President Snow, uh, book, um, like about President Snow. So, Mockingjay. Here's something that says, the ending is very, very crazy and jam-packed. Um, a lot of people die. Um, Prim is one of those people that die. I am very sad because I don't know what it is, but, like, Prim, I, is one of my favorite characters. And like she's better I don't know why but like from Katniss like it goes like it's probably gonna be Prim Katniss Peta and I just Prim like like I said one of my favorite characters so she dies sadly like that was so sad um and then Coin dies Snow dies which is so amazing so then they actually rebuild the districts where they're able to go back to district 12 and Peta and Katniss end up living a very happy life so yes okay so like i said this is a very this book is like i think out of them all like the saddest tragic book in the world i mean not in the world of the series not in the world so basically pretty much out of the series this book is the most tragic out of the series like the most sad but is my favorite so i think with the order of my favorites i think it's gonna be the mockingjay then catching fire which is the second one and then the hunger games which would be my favorite now again i have not read the prequel so i don't know yet but that is with the series i think i'm gonna give this book five out of five the series i'm gonna give five out of five and as well as i'm gonna give the book five out of five so yes
Okay, you guys, hello. So, I'm going to start the Ballad of sn Songbirds and Snakes, which is a President Snow book. So, this is like a prequel, and this talks about President Snow, which is going to be pretty interesting um, to kind of like see about his life. And apparently, this is like him on the war, and actually, which I think is so funny because the first particular like, part of it says, let me show you. Like, this is, like, part one, and it says mentor, which I think is very interesting. So, I think he might be a mentor for the Hunger Games. So, let's read and see how it kind of plays out and see what happens. Hello, you guys. So, I'm going to do a book kind of update on you guys for this. And, by the way, I actually love this so much. So, this is going to be, like, my first one because I have literally not... I'm um, giving you a read yet. So I am on page 114, chapter 8. And let's say what's happened so far. So Cornelius, who is President Snow, so you're basically following President Snow and like him through the war. And he's actually a mentor in the book. And he's mentoring District 12, um, Lucy Gray. Um, be Bayard, I think that's what his, her, name, uh, her name is. So there, um, it is kind of really gone interesting so far. And his friend, I, I don't know what her name, but I think Sinjin, see, so Jane, that's Janus. <laughs> um, I think Janus is his name. I don't know his name, but his friend's name i don't know how to pronounce it like because this is like a fantasy that is one thing i think with fantasy not with like fantasy but like fiction kind of books is that sometimes i do sometimes like their books that like have like their the characters names are very hard to say so yep but like i said it is really good so far you kind of are like from it you are kind of getting but okay sorry so with his friend, so his friend Janus is actually from where his friend, I don't know how to say his name, but sorry about that. But he basically was from district, from the district and came to the capital. So he basically is thinking of the district like that's them, like he's thinking of them in their spot. And I do love that because it's basically going like this and hopefully like, I mean, he's probably going like, oh, I hope this kind of gives them like they need to yeah, okay. oh, yeah. I hope this is like get them what they need to realize that this is not like there because even like a city kid literally went up to him and said these are like animals these are not us like why are you feeding them like the problem is that like the capital just treats a district like they're nothing and as well as there is another thing to this there already has been a death with the district and that is as well as cornelius's um friend elinus elinus whatever his name is um basically died by getting slit on the throat and by also by pretty much like a district member and that district um person did actually die so for him too as well so there's already been one tribute dead and a one mentor dead so that's interesting and then i'm also locking them up in like at the zoo at the thing so yeah and also cornelius and um a couple of other kids are actually in charge of kind of writing a rule on how to get people to watch the Hunger Games. So that is where I'm at right now. Okay, you guys. So I just reached um, part two, which is the prize. So I just reached part two, the prize, and I'm on page 157, chapter 11. And that actually rhymed. Okay, sorry. Um, so then what is happening so far? So basically, like I said, Cornelius has his mentor. So um, 
couldn't wait not his mentor his tribute which is lucy gray so basically him and lucy gray kind of actually kind of do get along very well and so basically it was his job to go and basically show lucy gray around the arena but then bombs exploded and he got injured and lucy saved his life so because lucy gray saved his life then she basically he's basically trying to have to repay her okay guys so i am on page sorry page 192 chapter 13 and we're already and we're starting to enter the hunger games um with lucy gray um and so pretty much what has happened so far is they've basically been doing like meetings and stuff and just kind of getting ready for the um games and the um a lot of tributes and mentors have died so far so yeah hello guys so i just finished part two which was the prize and now i'm going to be on part three which is called the peacekeeper so pretty much what has happened is the games and what happened is this is the 10th hunger games and pretty much sinjin goes into or sejanus who is cornelius's friend goes into the arena and um tries to get his tribute's body which basically tribute dies and then you basically have cornelius who has to go in and rescue him but then you also have in the book so we then after that we go into the game so we're in the games and we basically um you finish the games in part two and the winner of it was district 12 lucy gray so lucy gray won the the keeper um i mean not keeper won the hunger games and it's so exciting so now let's see what happens in part two I mean, part three. So I finished the Ballad of the Snakes and Songbirds, um, which is actually like the last book of the Hunger Games. And this book, I would say three stars. Now, the reason why it is a book that I do like the fact that you get to learn about the 10th Hunger Games and basically pretty much how they didn't go through the training process, how they actually seriously were put into a cage, that were monkeys, and they kind of, some mentors, some tributes died before they even hit into the Hunger Games. Um, they even, they went to the Hunger Games and that was kind of interesting. And then also learned the Hunger Games and kind of all that. So that was very interesting. But the last part, so the third part of it, was, I wouldn't say he was, Cornelius was trying to be a peacekeeper. And it wasn't a really good part that struck my interest. It was very boring. Now, the book did not spike my interest whatsoever. It's not like any of the other books where I'm able to read the books on it. So, yeah, so again, it wasn't that good. And also, like, the first two parts weren't, they were good. They weren't great. They weren't amazing. They weren't parts that I couldn't put down. It was, yeah, it was bad. But, yes. So, that is my rating for this book. So, I finished, so like I said, that means that I finished the whole entire series of The Hunger Games. That means I am finished. And that means this video is going to be done reading The Hunger Games. So let's do a quick review. So this is the very first book of The Hunger Games. It is The Hunger Games. And I think I gave this book, let me see, one minute, sorry. I gave this a book, do do do, four stars. This book was really good. You got an introduction into The Hunger Games, the Panem world. Um, so that was really cool. Then you got Catching Fire, which I gave 4.5 stars. This was a really good book. It was the second book. You have the Quarter Quill, and there are so many different things that definitely happen in the book. And then you have The Mockingjay, which I gave 5 stars, and this book was my absolute favorite. Yes, tragedy happens. Yes, 
Prim dies. Yes, you can't kill Prim off. Yes, me and someone else in my class, me and one of my friends are going, you can't kill Prim. How dare you kill Prim? You can kill Katniss or Pita, but not Prim. Yes, I get it. <laughs> Sorry. I get attacked. It was very interesting because, like, again, like my dad was like, I got attached to Prim and Prim was just like a throwaway character. But again, I liked Prim, so sad to say, they killed Prim. But that's a mocking yay. And then we got the Ballad of the Snake Songbird, which I gave three stars. So, like I said, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a good night, good day, wherever you are. And I'm hoping to do this again with some more um, other series like the Divergent. What else series would I have that I can do this with? I'll, be, I'll see. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys have a good night, good day, wherever you are. And yeah. Goodbye.